Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, check this out. This right here is, it's a triangular container. Okay, you can see it's triangular on the sides. And it's a container, so you can put something inside. Okay, this is just a suction cup thing that I bought at GameStop. Okay, and uh, yeah, and what's really cool about it is that, check this out, it collapses flat, just like that. Isn't that cool? And then what's nice about opening it, you can just open it like this if you want. But what's also nice about opening it is that there's actually a flap here and a flap here. And you can just pull it open just like that. Isn't that cool? And then you can, you can maybe put other models inside too, the pinwheel. I'm trying to collapse it in there like that. Alright, guys ready to learn how to fold it? Ready, set? Here goes. Alright, so for this model, I'm going to use a 6 inch square of double sided origami paper that's blue on one side and green on the other. Okay? So I'm going to make a blue box with green flaps and green insides. So um, let's begin uh, green side up and let's fold in half both ways. Okay, and unfold, and fold in half this way. Okay, now comes a kind of tricky step. We're gonna do we're gonna divide this into thirds. So um, we're, we're gonna do we're gonna fold this up, and you want to fold it up so that the, um, so that this right here is equal to that. Okay, just estimate it first. And now to check yourself, you're just going to fold this part behind like that. And if it's not even, you just have to fiddle with the fold. So see, it's sticking out on this side. So that means you have to push this further in like that and then fold this back. So you just kind of make it go back and forth like that just until you get the right thirds. Okay, just a tiny bit more like that. So I don't think it's, I don't think that it's tricky. It's just you have to fiddle with the folds until... You get it right. I mean, it can be kind of tricky. They're like that. And once you're happy with your thirds, pinch. Okay? I'm happy with my thirds. And now just place it on the table like this. And you can just extend the folds all the way across, just like that. And repeat on the sides. So just ridiculously flatten it like that. Increase sharply. Okay? And that's how you make thirds. Okay? Well, it's not really thirds because of the crease in the middle. It's more like fourths. But I'm talking about like this this whole part and this part is thirds okay all right so now we're gonna do we're gonna take um this point we're gonna fold it to here like that and same on this side fold this point to here okay see just like that all right now um we're gonna reverse fold this but we have to open it up first because we're gonna do a step that makes a lot easier okay these are going to be the two locks right here. These are the two locks that lock the edges together, okay? And there's there's an easy, there, there, there's, there's a way to make it easier to do. So to do that, we're going to unfold here. And I, you can probably... I don't think it matters what side you do it on. I'm just going to do green side, okay? So we're going to do we're going to take this point and we're going to fold it to that point. Like that. Crease sharply and unfold. And fold this point to here. I like using double-sided origami paper in my videos. It just it make it really makes my, my models stand out. Okay, I, I probably like it better than Kami anyway. <laughs> All right, enough with that. Now unfold, and now we're gonna remake the the main diagonal right here. And now we're gonna do the reverse fold. So we're gonna reverse fold on this diagonal crease right here. Okay, so you're gonna put your finger inside and you're just gonna reverse fold it like that. Okay, just like this. And crease sharply. And now repeat on this side. So we're going to reverse fold on that diagonal crease that you see there. And you're going to reverse fold it like that. Okay? Alright, like that. And now um, we're going to do, we're going we're to look inside here and here comes the lock. So we're going to do, we're going to take, we're going to take, see this flap right here? We're going to take this point, we're going to fold it all the way down to the, that bottom point down there. Okay? So really to this point, but inside. And you're just going to fold it right on the 
um, if you can see that, it's going to fold it right on the existing crease right here. Okay. See, just like that, and fold it inside, and then you can reclose it. And if you want to lock it even better, then what you can do is you can just take um, this. You can just take this point right here, and you can just kind of fold it up, just like that, if you want. I don't think the lock does, needs to be too strong, but yeah, just do it like this. Just a simple lock. Doesn't need, it doesn't need to be like, super strong, but <laughs> there, just like that. Okay, now I'll repeat on this side. So we're gonna lock these two points together or these two edges together. So bring them, bring them together like this, and look inside and fold this point down all the way to the bottom, right on the existing crease right here. Make sure they stay together, and fold it inside like that. Then close it. So make sure it's nice and snug. And then now, if you want. And lock it even more by folding the point inside, just like that. I'm gonna make those creases sharp. All right, like that. All right, now we're almost done. There's just two more folds left, and those two are gonna make the two flaps right here, and they're both super easy. All you do is we're gonna fold this up right between these two points right here, those two creases. And make sure that this point lines with the middle crease. Kind of like drag it up until it goes in between the two points. Okay, there, close enough. <laughs> and there is one flap. And repeat on this side, fold this up. And you can just make the full line with the edge below. And still make sure that this point lines with the middle crease. Okay. And here is your triangular container. Now it looks like a hexagon right now, but if you want it to be a triangular container, then all you have to do is open it up like that. You just push the edges in. And now you can just make this crease right here. If it's not really a mountain all the way, you can just make it a mountain. Just, just pinch the, all the creases just to make sure they're right. Like that. And this crease wasn't that sharp, so like that. And look at that. Here is the triangular container. Blue on the outside, green on the inside. Green flaps. So yeah. Alright, so here it is. So you can you can collapse it like this or like this. I think it's pretty cool like this. <laughs> too. I think they're both cool actually. Okay. And you can just take the two flaps if you want. You can just unfold it like this if you want. Okay, and then you can house your item inside. Okay. And then you can just um, collapse it like this. Or you can take the two flaps and open it up like that. So you need these two flaps as handles. And you can collapse it like this. And then open it up. And collapse again, open it up. Use the flaps to open it up this time and like that. Put my pinwheel inside. Collapse it. Or collapse it this way without damaging the pinwheel in there. And try not to damage it. There, like that. Alright, well, hope you guys were able to make this, and comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.